Hey everybody, Steve here and welcome to another crypto mining video. I haven't done one in a while and uh, looking over at the rigs here, uh, you can see I have got quite the mess. Um, I am going to be building an enclosure for all of these guys. Uh, for those of you who have been following my progress, uh, I had a tent at one point and the tent was awesome uh, for those uh, Vortec uh, power fans. Uh, one leading in and one leading out uh, up to about probably to around uh, 21 to 23 GPUs. It was awesome. Uh, when I went ahead and put the fourth rig in there, uh, it was just too overpowering. It couldn't keep up with the heat. And so uh, I've folded the, folded the tent back up and uh, hopefully I will be able to figure out a uh, way to maybe incorporate it back into my system because it was so cool but anyhow uh, so I've got this big huge mess over here right now and uh, I'm gonna be building an enclosure for that but that's not what today's about today I'm getting ready to build rig number five what I want to show you really is if, if you're intimidated about getting into this you think it's hard uh, you have to be some sort of computer guru to understand how to do it I'm here to tell you it ain't that way it's very very easy to build one of these rigs so uh, this video I I'm going to set a clock and I'm going to let the clock run continuously and I want to show you how fast uh, and easy it is to build a rig. And if you think about it, there is a finite number of components and it really is not any harder than building a computer. It's just different. First and foremost, you need a few of these graphics cards and these particular graphics cards are uh, Radian RX 578 gig cards. All the cryptos are really, really down right now. So graphics cards are dirt cheap. I actually have another video uh, where I teach you how to buy graphics cards cheap. That'll, that link will be into the description as well. Um, but here, take a look. You got your graphics cards, that's first and foremost. You need a motherboard that will accommodate a lot of graphics cards. Uh, I've tried a few and I will tell you, this ASRock H110 Pro BTC, hands down my favorite, is flawless. It just, it just works. I will say that I use, uh, I use Simple Mining OS, which is SMOS. Uh, I don't mess with Windows at all. So anyhow, motherboard. Another thing you need is a processor, but you don't need a super duper processor. You can get by with a cheap $50 Celeron processor and RAM. Need a little RAM, need a stick of RAM. I use Linux, I use SMOS, so uh, all I need is four gigs of RAM. Uh, another rather cheap item, you can find four gig sticks of RAM for as little as probably uh, $35. I go with these ballistic sports, they're a little more expensive. I think I usually pay in the neighborhood of around 40, 45 bucks for these. So that's that. Uh, you also need a power supply. This back here, I don't know whether you can see it or not, this back here is uh, my testing power supply. It's only 500 watts, uh, but you generally want to, if you're running a bigger rig, you're probably gonna wanna get uh, uh, 1,000, maybe 1,200, uh, maybe even 1,600 watt power supply. I have had incredible success with anything EVGA power supply related. I've got a 500 here. I've got several uh, 1200s over there, and I've got a couple of 1600s over there. They are flawless and they're efficient. Um, I love them. But for this particular build, I'm decided to go in a completely different route. I don't recommend you do this if you're just starting out, but check this baby out right here. This is a server power supply. This guy is 2600 watts. So you can see what a spaghetti mess this is. And it'll be fun to hook up, but I like a good challenge. But, uh, you know, typically you're gonna wanna go with a more Depending on how, how many GPUs you're running and how you choose to configure those GPUs, if you undervolt them, you can get by with less wattage on the power supply. I have a video, I've got yet another video on how to um, overclock and undervolt these uh, AMD Radeon, actually 580s. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to get into it. I'm going to set the clock here and set the camera up and I'm going to go ahead and get rolling on the build here. And really it's, 
probably take less time than uh, it took me to do all this jabber jawing right here. If you want to order any of these parts, um, I bought them all on Amazon, and uh, I'll include links to each of these items uh, on Amazon so that you can get them. I, I find Amazon is very competitive price-wise, and if you're an Amazon Prime member, man, these things, uh, they turn them around for you real quick. You get them real fast. I've got a video that's 100% dedicated to how to buy graphics cards cheap, so uh, don't forget to check that one out as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on a tripod. I'm going to get going on how to build this thing, and let's just see how it goes. Goes to show how dedicated I am to the cause, I went ahead and turned off all the rigs so that you can actually hear me in the audio. So, all right, so with this out, I'm gonna quit the jibber jabbering and I'm just gonna start the clock. Make sure your hands are clean. There is an arrow that tells you which way this guy goes. And there's a corresponding arrow here too, or maybe it's here. There it is, right there. Whoops, there's an arrow. Bring the light in a little closer here. There's an arrow here, and an arrow there. It will, it will only fit in one way. That's it. And I'll go like that, pull this guy off, and that's in. Easy peasy. We got our little fan here. Got our little fan here. Fan's got uh, fan's already got some stuff on it. Boom, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Lock her down. How long has it been? A minute? We got it done. Ooh, hit the camera. Ram. Out. That one doesn't come out. Make sure you line up the uh, the guys the right way. Click, click, boom. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy into uh, the motherboard. There's a little thing right here. It says CPU fan. So we'll go ahead and pop him on CPU fan. There's actually another one over here. CPU fan over there. So depending on how you put this guy on. Boom, done. Guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's takes longer to take stuff out of the box than it does to install it. All right, so this is the time, uh, this is the time in the video where I go ahead and start troubleshooting. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start by keeping things simple. I want one graphics card, all right? All I want, one graphics card. Why? Why make it more difficult than it has to be? graphics card. I got a SSD here. You don't need this by the way. I guess you do. All right, so I got an SSD. All right, so we got a SATA drive. Go ahead. Click that baby in there. Let's see what else we got here. Need some power. Power. Power's gonna go to the back of the motherboard.
two power locations for that one. And this guy's a little power hungry. So there's two more right there. And we're gonna need, uh, we might need some Mullock's power. Now I do know that when we fire this thing up for real, we're gonna need, you are gonna need Mullock's power to the board. Wow. I don't know whether this is required at this point or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the board with a little bit of Mullock's power because I know that it's gonna need it later. So there's that. Normally I'd have to do that one and the other one over here. That's the thing, one, one little glitch with these. One little unwritten rule about these uh, AS rocks is uh, you do need to hit Mullocks right there and right there to the board in addition to the power here and the power here. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got power. Power to you. Gaunts to have power to you. And as you can see, I didn't mess with any risers. I'm not messing with risers. Straight into the board. See how this bad boy works. Now, and see here. Also gonna on the monitor. And uh, a little keyboard. Did I, I say keyboard? Key, keyboard? A little keyboard. Like so. And I think we're ready. We're ready to fire this bird up. See how she goes. One more little item of importance, power. A little convenience is a power switch. Power. plugged in I'm plugged in and ready to go let's see what happens here Woo! all right a little let's go ahead and turn our attention to the monitor now and uh, I put our SMOS USB drive in the motherboard and let's go ahead and see if we're mining tell you things are looking promising oh yeah it's trying to log in that is good news Things are looking good. It recognizes the card. Share is accepted. Oh, and just like that, we're up and mining, boys and girls. 
We are at 27.096 on an RX570 card without doing any tweaking whatsoever. So uh, we're in good shape here. I think that we'll probably be able to get this guy up to probably 20. All right, so I did not realize it at first, but apparently uh, my battery ran out of my camera. Uh, I was able to capture uh, the whole process and you were able to see that we were up and mining in under 10 minutes. Uh, for those of you who are saying, hey, wait a minute, he skipped a couple of steps. Uh, there was one major step that I skipped, and the one major step that I skipped was uh, the installation of SMOS on the USB drive. Now, you will not need a SSD hard drive for this. You won't need Windows for this. You won't need to mess with any of that nonsense. This methodology is actually easier than it is to actually get AMD cards to run on NiceHash. So if you have one of these cards right here, all you need to do is follow these directions. It's as simple as that. You just basically uh, download the software, install the software, and you'll be up and running. So the next video that I make will be a detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough of this process. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and look at the description below. It's also worth mentioning that everything that you see in this video is available on Amazon.com, so feel free to check the description below for links to all the items on Amazon. So anyhow, my goal here was to show you that this is not a difficult, intimidating process. With a little bit of patience, anybody can do it. And uh, I want to encourage you to do it. It is an incredibly fun, uh, for lack of a better term, hobby. So, I am Steve. I'm going to cut it here. Check the description for lots of other videos. And don't forget to check out the next video, which is going to be my detailed SMOS setup video. So, hope you learned something. Hope you liked. If so, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much.